What is up everybody? So today we're going old school. We got a 94 Honda Accord with a check engine light. <laughs> and there you go, check engine light. So we're gonna see what that check engine light is. I'm gonna, so I grabbed my special scan tool, which is uh, this connector here. And we're gonna go underneath the passenger side floor. Grab my light, turn on my light. There's a connector right here, right? This guy right here, two wires. It actually doesn't, it's not, it doesn't have a pin that goes anywhere. So if you look up underneath, that that connector is blank. If you can see it, yeah, blank. So this is where this scanner plugs into. Uh, one hand here. All right, plugged in. The scanner's plugged in. And uh, now we're gonna key on and count the flashes. So it's gonna come on. Wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. let me do that again. We tell the last. Looks like it only has one code, so let's try that again. One, two, three, four. And then that flash point, that quick flash is just a one. So that's 41. If there's any more codes, it should be doing it again. So yeah, so it's only oh, it's only got 41. All right, let's look up what that code is. I see something interesting. So back in like 94, 95, uh, that's when they started thinking about going to OBD2. And if you look in there, there you can see where uh, the OBD2 port was was going to be uh, plugged into. You can see. I don't know if you find that interesting or not, but it's good to know. Oh, plug everything back in. All right, so I printed out the old school manual here. So we got the 41 code, and that 41 code is um, heated oxygen sensor heater. So it says A and B, just going through it. You got resistance value 10 to 40 ohms. Is there any for you? No, replace the heat oxygen sensor. Uh, it says it has a bottom one there, so. Let's just make sure there's a there's only one oxygen sensor first before we check check it. Underneath the hood we have a oxygen sensor. That's this guy right here, right? So let's go underneath and make sure that we have a uh, secondary O2 sensor. So yeah, looking underneath, it looks like uh, there's only one oxygen sensor, which is that one up there. Uh, no secondary sensor anywhere. Here's the cat. Nothing here. Uh, nothing there, so that makes it easy. Uh, so we just got that one oxygen sensor. Oh, let's see. Usually the... Uh, that's just the uh, paging or whatever. But uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, usually your heater circuit is going to be your two black wires. Right? Right here. And uh, yeah, so what you want to check is... Uh, we're going to do resistance check on these two wires. And then you can do my light bulb, light bulb trick with the other side. See if uh, it's supplying power and ground to uh, the heater circuit. So, yeah, diag diagnosing is never, never easier. <laughs> so let me uh, disconnect it and I'll check the resistance on it with a multimeter. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out if I can do this with one hand or not while holding a phone, unless I can find somebody to hold my phone for me. So, I'm um, okay. <laughs> All right, I got it to work. So I got it to touch the two pins. I'm not pushing too hard on it, but it's touching the pins inside, right? And uh, I got I don't have 10 to 40 ohms of resistance, so I got a bad oxygen sensor. But just because it has no resistance, you got to also check if it's also supplying power and ground. So I'm gonna go get a light bulb and uh, touch those two terminals, see if it lights up. 
We know our oxygen sensor is open circuit, so the next thing we would check is make sure we have power and ground for that heater circuit. But before you check that, uh, you're going to have to clear the codes. Either you can disconnect the battery or pull out the uh, 7.5 amp fuse on the uh, backup, which is uh, what it says on the manual. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, clear the codes, and then uh, bring you back. To uh, see if that heater circuit is working, I have to disconnect the battery first, clear the code, because uh, sometimes when you have a code, it won't uh, uh, it shuts off that heater circuit, so it won't uh, supply power and ground to that connector or to that oxygen sensor because there's a code in it. So disconnect it, wait for a little bit, and uh, yeah, check it. All right, so I got a couple assistants here. Uh, I got my trusty little light bulb that I've always been using. Can you hold this for me so I can uh, use my hands? So I'm gonna touch the little terminals in there for the heater circuit after I reattach the uh, battery terminals. Oh. Okay, Ben, keep on. There you go, that's our heater circuit and it's working. Okay, you can shut it off. Oh. Oh. So yeah, that's it. We just need an oxygen sensor. And I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.